Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, if this is your very first time to this channel, run on that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. Besides the word subscribe, so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and go for the team. Come in like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't forget to come like a share. Okay, y'all check out. We go ahead and pray. We gonna get some good news. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? Over to the side. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out because we finna get to eat. Let's see if he's nice and fresh. Ah, he is. Also, here, got my lip top sauce. If you like your bottle, look where the top of your lips in blue. Hit that link right there. You get your lip top sauce. And your lips merge. Okay, you got it today for the food. You got it. So, what we have here is a spinach beet salad. Uh, it, it, uh, it consists of spinach. Beets, of course, red onions, uh, bacon bits, salt and pepper. That's what you put in. And here in the middle, baby, we have got us some gun powder. Yeah, pow, 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 gun powder. Gun powder for steak. Yes, sir, yes, gun powder is a seasoning. Let me see how this is going to look like. Look at it. Gun powder. Pow. You see, baby, let me see the gun powder seasoning. Mm-hmm. Gun powder seasoning is, let me taste it right here, right quick. Do y'all want the first bite? Hmm, get there. Look at it. Baby, baby, baby. Mmm. 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 Y'all, this is gun powder seasoning. Look what it is. And baby, it is delicious. Well, I got some ranch over him, but I'm gonna be using this red bag wine vinaigrette. Okay. That will be using it, y'all. Mm-hmm. This here is like a out of uh, like a all-in-one plate, baby. Mm-hmm. All in wing. This gunpowder though, baby. That seasoning is terrific. It's terrific. Hmm. Get you by the salad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know some of y'all gonna ask. Mmm, so let me tell you, you can get this gunpowder season, you can order it off the land. Mm-hmm. It may not be that brand, because we get that brand back home, where I'm from, out of like a, a local grocery store that make, you know, like make their own. But gunpowder season is sold on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or just look up. Gunpowder season on Google and Google will get you there. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's kind of salty a little bit. Mm. Like, um, it has that sodium taste, as y'all know I like. But it is such a great seasoning. It don't take much of it. Y'all got this sitting up. I'm gonna take this down, honey, so I can eat, so I can get to eating. Uh, as Jordan said over there on Sam's Red Sam, so we can get to eating. That was Sam's Red and Jordan say. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, when we did the cream and cucumber salad, a lot of people's like, lips, you come up with the. Uh, 
you know, like some amazing alternatives to eating salad. Mmm. Keep it up. So here you go, another one. Mm-hmm. If you like beets, I mean, your man will um, wear that vinaigrette because that's what hubby tasted on it first and it was good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It got that wangy taste to it, you know. It's good, y'all. I'm going to try a little ranch on it, y'all. Just for good measures, I dropped the top, baby. Just for good measures, I'm going to try a little ranch on it. I'm going to see what it tastes like. I'm going to tell you about it. You know, a lot of people eat ranch. I'm going to say. Mmm. Mmm. It's still good. I still prefer. Now, the ranch, you can taste the beets better than with the vinaigrette. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Y'all, this is good. It is. Y'all. You know I love the sodium taste of things. The pork steak is off the of chain. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm hmm mm. I can eat the whole plate from anywhere I want to. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all though, you will love that gunpowder dressing. It's good. You really gotta have nothing but it. Mm-hmm. You know, with oil, you can marinate meat, but the best thing about that gunpowder dressing is you don't need no marination, honey. Mm-mm. Like, it's really strong. I promise you, if you got you some gunpowder dressing, and had you old slab of ribs trying to put on the grill, Mm hmm You in now. You in there like swimwear. Mm-hmm. You won't have to tenderize and then take that gun pie. You know, especially like um like a brisket. Oh they would wear a brisket out. They sure would. They would wear a brisket out, honey. Mm. 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 I know my lips will be red. From the beach, I don't care. Mm, 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 mm. Mm hmm. And then the pork steak is baked. Mm, mm. So, we eat healthy again, y'all. Mm hmm. We eat better bread. Mm. Let me ask y'all another question, too. Mm. Do any of you all like, um, like in the grocery store, have you ever seen this Milo sweet tea and lemonade? Mm, 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 mm. I like the sweet tea, but y'all, the lemonade is called busting. I mean, busting, busting. Mm. Uh, lemonade. Do not taste like it could be sugar free. Mm hmm. It tastes like regular lemonade, but regular good lemonade. You hear me? Mm hmm. So, if you're trying to cut down on your sugar intake and stuff, but you still want to drink something that's good, try um, that Milo. They have sweet tea and lemonade. Mm hmm. In the grocery store, and it's sugar free. Mm-hmm. But you ain't gonna believe it. Even the tea. You ain't gonna believe it's sugar free. But it is. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So how y'all doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? As you can see, I'm doing amazing. Mm-hmm. I am doing amazing training. Mmm. Well, that's good. Yes, I am. I'm doing amazing. Um, the weather is quite delightful today. It is. Um, Y'all, 
Have y'all heard about um, what's going on down there in Florida? Y'all heard about it? I know some of y'all are here from Florida. Definitely, you know, and stop. Um, mm, mm. Y'all ain't no gas in Florida. Mm-hmm. Somewhere down there where they get the gas from in Florida, um, it's flooded. So, people down there ain't got no gas. Now, if you didn't already get here, I got you some. Mm-hmm. You better hope you run decent. Huh? Mm-hmm. Now, I think they said they were going to start, like, trying to get in there to get the gas out um, sometime in the next few days. But ain't no gas, huh? Nope. So, if you came home and your tank was on E, honey, and you were too late to get up when they tell you you're going to have a shortage, well, you ain't got no game. Mm-hmm. All the pumps over there, y'all, is out of game. Gas on. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, what a feeling. Okay? It ain't funny. I'm just, just you know, just the joke I made was funny. The situation ain't funny, of course. Um, but y'all, just be praying for those people in that area. Y'all, I know this plate is not a normal presentation. I don't care because it's good. I don't care because it's good. Well, I do care, but... I ain't nothing to do about it. I ain't nothing to do about it, y'all. I'm eating. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very bad. But yeah, there ain't no gas down there, y'all. Mmm. I really don't. Mmm. I thought that was terrible. Mm-hmm. But maybe we want to go and run and fill up anyhow. <laughs> you know, you know how many things happen in the world? Maybe a run on stuff, honey. And somebody told me, um, in the comments, it was yesterday, day before yesterday, one, that, baby, look, look up something for me. Somebody told me there was a new strand of COVID that doesn't come out. Look it up for me, baby. Somebody said it was a new, the reason why that COVID was rising, and I think I talked to y'all about that, even the last video or video for that one, um, that the COVID case had started rising. And somebody told me in the comments that the reason why it's rising is because there's a new strain out there. Mm-hmm. Hubby checking it out right now. I don't want to be done told you no false information. Mm-hmm. It says, mm. new COVID-19 very likely, likely causing uptick in South Georgia cases. So it is a new one. It's likely. It's likely a new one? It's, yeah, it's big. It's big. That, that was in January. Oh. Well, we can't confirm that right now, y'all. But I do know that there is... A uptick in COVID cases. I know that for sure. Well, let me tell you something. There's something else I want to talk about, y'all. Right quick. I hate to forget about this just right now. Y'all, somebody in the comments the other day, we did the video about being verified with God and not worry about being verified on your blue check or Instagram. That type of thing. Somebody come at me. I said come because they came while they was coming. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Somebody. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Lock, stock, and barrel. Came at me in the comments. Told me that I was spreading... A false information and that the check on Instagram is to verify who you are that you're not spam and da 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 
as if I'm stupid. You know what I'm saying? I am a influencer. Why would you feel like I didn't know the true? Well, they. Why would they think I didn't know the true reasoning for the blue check on Instagram? Right, that's the first thing. But like I replied to them in comments, if you don't understand the parable of why I use being, it, the point of it was being verified. Us being having a um, want a desire and the um, and the willingness to be verified on Instagram, but not worry about being verified with the good Lord. Um, you know, God, everything that we say as content creators, we, we're not saying it as a literal thing. Some things. You can just read between the lines. Ain't no need nobody having to explain it to you. You know what I mean? I don't know if this person was serious and just wanted to get my attention that day. Or, um, you know, were they... I don't know. But clearly, anyone who listened to the video clearly understood where I was trying to make a, you know, point that, like King E.E. has said that day, to be verified by people in this world, we are going so far as to allow Instagram to make $660 million to get a blue check on Instagram now, I can tell you this much, I wonder, could you get them same 44 million folks? If Instagram, even if Instagram contacted all 44 million people and said, look, we want to help out the church of God. Or we want to help, help out the church at this moment. So, here your $15 back. And what we want you to do is donate the same fifteen dollars to your church of choice. I guarantee you that the church won't get that six hundred sixty million dollars. Even if this round gave it back to them, they wouldn't do it. But that was the point of the conversation. It wasn't to try to say that there was something fraudulent with getting the blue check on Instagram. Ma'am and or sir. Um, it wasn't that. It was just that people, we as people are invested in being verified by others, including Instagram, that we would spend our money. Well, I promise you, if Instagram gave all 44 million other people they put ten dollars back and told them to give it to the church. The church wouldn't get it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Or told them to give it to the homeless. We can take the church out of it if you want to. Told them to give it to the homeless. Mm hmm. Like we have to tell you, at least half of those people would just put their money back in their pocket. That was the point of the conversation. You know. What will or, or what will how will, how far we are willing to go to be verified when things are man, but ain't studying about being verified with a man of a bull. If I have to spell it out to some people, mm -hmm. most of you I know got it, but sometimes we have to clear a few things up. Sometimes, you know. Um, I want to thank all of you all. Um, I want to thank all of you all for your participation and for Hubby's birthday. Y'all, we had a ball on live last night. Oh, we had a absolute ball. Do you hear me? 
<clears throat> but uh, other than when we do the like the annual drag show that we do in uh, Las Vegas with um, hmm, Savannah Westbrook, we never played music in our lives. But y'all was showing so much love for her birthday the other night. I said, forget it. Mm-hmm. Baby, y'all was showing her so much love for her birthday. And I want to thank y'all for that. I really do. My husband had a ball for his birthday. And like I have explained, and he explained to you guys as well, that because of the fact that... Mm, he lost his father so young, like when he was three years old. And his father was only 33 when he passed. Uh, 33 or 32? 32 when he passed. Birthdays has never been a joyful thing for my husband or his, his brother. Um, because the male uh, lifespan in his family, his bloodline, has just been um, fruitful for living long lives. And he has repeatedly told me for years that he was really just not doing enough for his birthday and, you know, just not let it go bad or that he always have had. Matter of fact, when I first met him, he told me that his birthdays are always bad. I mean, believe it or not, mm, got some gristle. I do feel like that was partially because he thought it was going to be bad. That it was bad, but that was a year. It was bad. His birthday, we always seem to get to a bad place on his birthday. We always did. No matter what we were doing, where we was at, and what we were trying to do, we always seemed to get to a bad plane on his birthday. Um, however, what I'm getting to is that this year, there had been a few when it was okay, it was uh, all right, you know, over the years. But this year, spending his birthday on live, playing music with y'all, he had an absolute blast. He did. He woke up the next day saying that he enjoyed his birthday. That's something I haven't heard in many years. Um, and, uh, you know, some odd 20 years we've been together. Him saying. So I want to thank y'all for that. Um, yeah. I really do. It was a blast. It was. Like I said, we went live last night. Uh, I made it private. So, if you wasn't there, you won't be able to see it, but. Thank y'all. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Legion, you've always been the best in the business and everything that you do. And I just want to say to you that we appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Mm we love you. Mm-hmm. And thank you. Hubby is 40 years old. Mm-hmm. That funk ain't 40. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah, funky party. Yes, sir. Mm. Y'all, this has been good. It was. Mm. Now I can tell who it was. They said it to me about the creamy cucumber salad. I told them that even we, even if we, what was, there's something in my mouth, y'all. I told him that even if we uh, uh even if we had to look up y'all losing beats and things and stuff. I told him even we had to look up some new Saturdays. Um mm, for the Saturday lovers. That we would start doing, you know, new Saturdays. Not just the regular things that, you know, traditional things we do for Saturdays. Mm, mm. Mm hmm So anyhow, when somebody told me they want me to eat some spaghetti. Um, somebody wants some catfish. Mm-hmm. Somebody wants some more. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This and that, this and that. I be trying to get in what y'all want me to eat, y'all. I do. I really do. 
But baby, mm, 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 if my table don't feel it, I can't do it. Mm, y'all, this was amazing. And you watch. This will be the very video that y'all gonna watch. Mm-hmm. It's gonna look, look healthy in the screen. This will be the very video that I'll be trying to push to get some views on. Watch our tea. Watch. Mm-hmm. That's how it go. Anything healthy? Mm-mm. Only my, my ride and dive start here right now. I guarantee you. Mm-hmm. 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 And this food is always good. Anyway, y'all. Anyway, y'all. Go ahead and get you some of that, um, um, gunpowder. Gunpowder gun season, you would not be disappointed. It was season anything. I don't care what it is. Any meat. Mm-hmm. I mean, and season it down to the flow. You hear me? Like that season can be used for so many things. Um, like I said, ribs, briskets, anything on the grill. You don't need none of it. That's it. And put it on there, rub it in, and let it go. You will not be disappointed. I've had it on chicken. I've had it on turkey wings before. I've had that gunpowder season several times on the show. Mm-hmm. But those of y'all, like y'all be telling me y'all don't know how to cook, or you don't know how to this, don't know how to that, baby, if that's the case, you don't know how to season something, I don't care what it is, any meat, because that stuff down can be used like taco seasoning too. Like, I'm for real, it will, it will season like your ground beef or ground chuck or whatever you're going to use for tacos. It'll season any meat, any meat, pig feet, anything. Middle season anytime, just by itself. You don't need nothing else with it, just it. So, if you want the people who tell us the other day, they don't know this and don't know that, um, that's fail proof. It's called gunpowder. And you done. Just like I am, because I'm full. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love y'all. I love y'all, I love you. I love you. Um, Joseph from the Ukrainian has the birthday coming up. So, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Joseph. We love you. I know by the time this video come out, your birthday will probably be in the past. I'm sure. Um, but, happy birthday, brother. We love you. Tramel, we're praying for you. We're hoping that you will continue to get well. Um, in your adventures and everything, and we miss y'all. Okay, I love y'all. Love you, love you. Y'all about here. I'm, I'm full. I'm full. Don't get to pray for me. Well, I pray for you. If it get hot, y'all know what I'm gonna say, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It finna get hot. So, um, y'all already know. It's time to get your air conditioners in your car serviced. It's time to get your AC unit um, outside of your home serviced. Uh -huh. If you got window units, it's time to change the filters in them. Change the filters after this problem go away in your central AC unit. Uh -huh. It's that time, y'all. Uh -huh. It's time to get your AC serviced before it gets too hot. It's already hot. Y'all, it's already made uh, 89, 90 degrees in Atlanta already. Like weeks ago. It's gonna be a hot one. Um so go on and get that stuff together. And once you get your stuff together, go and get your stuff together now. Then you know what time it is. Go out to the neighborhood. Buy you some buy waters. Uh, if you got a neighborhood where the kids walk up and down the street and play and play basketball out there in the in the street and everything, you got a beep, 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 let them get you do all that kind of stuff. If you have that type of neighborhood, go on and be buying you up those uh three cases. Oh, um, at, at uh, Publix, what is it, 32? In three cases of 32 uh, uh, count watts for $10. $11, or whatever it is. $10. $10, probably said. I'm gonna be buying you some of them up so you can put your cooler or something out there at the end of your driveway with some waters in it. 
Go on and start checking out on the elderly now. Make sure they got air conditioning and fans and stuff. The fans probably most important because the elderly don't like to turn on the AC. And they really have a fan because that's what they had in their day when they were growing up. Let the wind up and turn on the fan. So I'm going to start checking on the elderly. Make sure everything is good. Um, for Devin show, call check on your own elderly. Then get to your elderly in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, indeed. Go on and do that. Go on and do that. Y'all go on and check your... Uh, Fire extinguishers and your fire alarms in your house. Make sure everything is straight. Because things happen when you get hot outside. You know? You know? Say prayed up. I got to do the exit on. I got to do the outro. I'm full of y'all. Good good and I'm full. So, top of the day. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much for being I truly, truly do. Because I love each and every one of you guys. And I truly love you because you did not have to be here. You could have chose to be anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be right here with us. And we love you for it. So I'm like, just Lee Jane. Riding around where you go, hey. Riding around where you go. I love you guys so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Oh, always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And we're going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Mwah. Woo. I'm gone, y'all.